Hello there, mortals. I'm Jensen. Welcome back to Undertale. We are going to be playing completely pacifist in this instance. I am going to name myself Mercy, because this is a secret name, apparently, instead of Frisk. I just tried playing it as Frisk, and the game is significantly harder. I don't really want to have to deal with that kind of stuff, especially when these save stations are so far apart. So we're going to go with Mercy. That's a little on the nose, isn't it? Yes, but it actually makes sense, because we are going to be a merciful god. Bro, I swear to God, I saw Gaster appear for a split second behind Frisk. No, you didn't. Gaster's dead. There is literally no evidence that Gaster is alive. Preppy Mercy? Yeah, we'll be a little bit preppy. We'll be, we'll be a preppy Mercy. Howdy, I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower. Hmm, you're new to the underground, aren't you? Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go. See that heart? That is your soul, the very culmination of your being. Your soul starts off weak, but can grow strong with levels. What's LV stand for? Why love, of course. You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share with you. Get me! Get it! Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness palettes. Are you ready? Move around, get as many as you can. You idiots. In this world, it's kill or be killed! Why would anyone pass up an opportunity like this? Die! Ah! Ah! Watch out, it's a fireball! Or something. What a terrible creature, torturing such a poor innocent youth. Ah, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. Now, there is a reason she checks for humans that fall down here, but I I, oh, I still can't spoil it until we get to the, the uh, murder run. Oh, I suppose I can, actually. So, my running theory at the moment is that Toriel and Asgore... When the first human fell down into the monster's world of magic, Toriel and Asgore both kind of adopted him. And she ended up being a bit of a piece of garbage, as we'll find out in the murder runs that we do. So that's why she checks for people who have fallen down. Poor okay. game. Have you tried dodging all of his bullets? Yes! Skibbity toilet uh, game. It's a, it's a little skibbity. It's a, it's, it's a little skibbity, but it's not entirely skibbity. Maybe you're a firework? Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. The ruins are full of puzzles. Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the side of them. Okay. I did it! I'd stood on two buttons! To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. Wonderful! I'll go do that now. Boop! There we go. And these ones as well. Splendid! I am proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. The switch doesn't even work. Oh, I don't think I've actually ever tried that. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not, the process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time, I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. I'll do that right now. Okay, let's go ahead and do an act on him. We'll do a talk, we'll talk to the dummy. It doesn't respond. Yes, it's not very... Toriel is happy with us, excellent. She could have paid us at least for talking to it. Ah, very good. You are very good. I like to think so too. There is another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. I was hoping to beat her. We're being attacked. Brogan attacks you. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and compliment him. He didn't understand what we said, but was flattered anyway. Thank you, Toriel. Scare the frog away. Get your broom out and beat it to a pulp. I would do it myself, but unfortunately in this run, it, it, it won't allow me to. Oh, that's right, we have to talk to her. This is the puzzle, but here, take my hand for a moment. I think we're gonna have to do like a separate frisk run, right? Eventually at some point. Are you ended up in my dream again? 
Yeah, that's 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 how I function. Why did you restart? We were playing as Frisk and we couldn't get to a save station fast enough, so I, I just restarted for the brevity of it. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for you now. You have done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. I'm going! <laughs> we were actually gaining ground on her as well, which is pretty funny. Yeah, no, the battles, uh, they they were hard, and we probably could have dealt with them if we practiced enough, but we didn't have the health to be able to practice them enough. And at the same time, I feel like the amount of enemies is just going to stack up later, which would just be annoying. I was in a museum, and you were in one of the paintings. You do have to beat hard mode eventually for 100%. You were like a French aristocrat. There is a secret ending. That's so funny! I had a dream last night where I was put in a guillotine. Greetings, my child. Do not worry. I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, alright? I'm literally following up the smell of her ass. Ring ring. Hello, this is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try and solve them yourself. Be good, all right? Click. Okay, we have already disobeyed Toriel. Wait, I had a dream last night. Well, I had a dream where I was put in a guillotine last night too. Yeah, I know, it sucks, doesn't it? Thankfully for that ending, you can do whatever you want, no matter what the ending's the same. This deserves a game theory. What, the, the guillotine thing? I think the game theory on that one is that we just kind of like, I believe in the hive mind for this one. There's a, there's a theory that there's like a hive mind for people. It says take one. Take a piece of candy? Yes, we will take one piece of candy. Excellent. No more! We are not greedy! We are not taking any more than one piece of candy. There is no way in hell I'm gonna break the rules of this place. Especially for my own personal gain. It doesn't make any sense. Ring, ring. Okay. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Oh, I see. Thank you very much. She hung up. Ring, ring. Hello? This is Toriel. You did not dislike butterscotch, do you? I know what your preference is, but would you like to turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right, right. I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. Look, we didn't say anything other than a flavor, by the way. We just left her hanging in the dark. Okay, we've got a frogger right here. Let's go ahead and compliment his, his, his dizzle that's hanging out between his legs, as we can see right there. He's blushing. Oh, this is significantly easier than the last fight that we just did. Let's go ahead and mercy him. In my guillotine dream, Danny Gonzalez was being executed too, and we had a friendly conversation before we died. Whoa, was it just like first time? Huh? Ring, ring. Hello? You do not have any allergies, do you? Huh? Why am I asking? No reason. No reason at all. Click. Right, so I think I can spoil one kind of theory that I do have, which is Gaster. Gaster? I don't think that Gaster is as prevalent in the game as everybody is giving him credit for. I think that all of the evidence for Gaster actually be- Oh my god, we can just like spear him straight off. Wow, that was easy. I think that all of the evidence that points Gaster towards being in the game is basically fabricated by the fandom, and none of it is based on fact. Okay, we've got Froggit and Whimson this time. Can we just mercy Whimson straight up? Yes, we can. Excellent. Let's go ahead and compliment Froggit. He didn't understand, but he was flattered anyway. Wonderful. Ah, damn it, I already took a damage. Oh, piss. Ah, <laughs> took a bunch of damage. Okay, let's mercy both of them at once. Boom. Done. Easy. We got two gold. I like how they didn't pay us for not killing them. Whoa there, partner. Who said you could push me around? Hmm? So you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, pumpkin. Hmm? You want me to move some more? Alrighty, how's this? Hmm? That was the wrong direction. Okay, I think I got it. Thank you, Mr. Rock. Thank you, Dwayne. Ah, oh, cheeky. Hmm? You wanted me to stay there? You're giving me a real workout. Well, the rock is supposed to be thin. Is it weird that I like to say emojis out loud when talking to somebody thinking emoji? Oh, well, it's probably better than just acting out the emoji. Because that, that, that's cringe. That's real cringe. I did a cringe thing. 
Knowing the mouse white might one day leave its hole and get the cheese, it fills you with determination. This is a running joke. So yeah, Gaster, here's the thing. Gaster definitely existed. We find evidence that Gaster existed in the game. People confirm his existence. He was once the royal scientist. Are they gone yet? This ghost keeps saying out loud repeatedly, pretending to sleep. Move it with force? Yes! Here comes Napster Blurk! Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do an act on him. We're gonna cheer him up! You gave Napster Blurk a patient smile. <laughs> Alright. He's too busy crying a river. Run me a river! And now we mercy him. No, we don't mercy him. I think now we cheer him up a little bit more. He told Napster Blurk a little joke. He loved that! Really not feeling up to it right now, sorry. Good! The soundtrack for this game is just objectively good, right? I'm not crazy on this. Okay, let's go ahead and cheer him on. Napster Blurk wants to do show you something. Let me try. Wow! I call it the Dapper Blue. Do you like it? I adore it, my dude. Napster Blue eagerly awaits your response. Uh, I threat no cheer. I, I cheer. Oh, gee. I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around, but today I met somebody nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. Excellent. So, yeah, guess it definitely existed. Um, the thing that people kept poking out in my last theory when I played this blind was guess to this and guess to that. Guess to has no evidence of existing after he falls on the core, which we know because the uh, game references this directly. Is it Z or Z in New Zealand? Either, no one really cares. Is it the Chris? No, this is a different character. We've named her Mercy. Long elevator, best track in the game by far, changed my mind. Okay, how about the BFG division? I would say that that's probably the best game soundtrack ga uh, song in the world. Uh, there's nothing over here, probably a couple of... Oh, this is the bake sale, isn't it? Leave seven gold in the web? We don't actually have enough. Yeah, so people keep referencing this Entry 17 thing by Gaster, and the irony of Entry 17 is that everybody keeps saying that it's about the dark world down, down south. They're studying photons in the dark world. You can go read it yourself if you want. It's all about the kind of... It, it's about studying photons, and it doesn't make sense to me that... They are studying photons in a world full of magic. It, do, it, it just doesn't make any sense. So I actually think what they're studying is the first human that fell down, which is also directly referenced, and we'll see lots of that kind of, that story getting polished over when we play the genocide run. But I feel like Guest was studying the first human. The first human knew that she had a bad soul, and Gaster figured this out as well. The first human shoved Gaster into the core and then ran off and did whatever the hell she does. Um, which I think then corrupts the game. Gaster dies there and is not ever in the game whatsoever. And then people keep saying, oh, but how about when you're walking around in the grass and there's that guy following you with a creepy smile? That's, again, attributed to the first human that fell down and not Gaster. The only reason people say that Gaster has like a creepy smile is because they incorrectly speculate that the mystery man icon, which was cut content from the game, is in fact Gaster. So, now that I've got all that out of the way, let's find the charm of this game. Alright, uh, thanks, Vittorio, for that gigantic, unnecessary lore dump. Right, what are we doing here? So, there's a bunch of things that we could probably grab. One of these has a piece of armor in it. I think it's this one. Nope, that is Napster Bluke. Hey, buddy. I fell down a hole. Now I can't get back up. Go on without me. Wait, those can fly, can't they? Oh, well. Yes, they can, my dude. All right, we have to fight something anyway. It's a Luke's. Let's go ahead and act, and we will pick on it, because it loves it. You rude little snipe. Okay, he didn't actually like us picking on him, which is uh, not very in character, I don't think. Let's go, whoops. Let's go ahead and act. Let's don't pick on him. Finally, someone gets it. Maybe finally someone gets it. Ah, oh, damn it, I actually actively chose to take that. Let's mercy him. We'll spare him, and he's gone. Great. Mike Wazowski part two. Yeah, but this time he's really sensitive. Let's go into this one because it's going to open up the door for the next route. And then I think we go through this one here. Might give us something. Only one way to find out. Nothing. Okay, let's go ahead and just go down from there then. 
into here. One of these little areas has a piece of armor for us. It's a fight. Vegetoid came out of the earth. Okay, let's go ahead and dinner with him. You pat your stomach. Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Nice. We want the healthy meal, don't we? Oh, he heals us. That's nice. Vegetoid cackles softly. Okay, bye-bye. We could probably farm him for health. No, I am the Chris. I can't change my username. Oh, I see. Okay, 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 okay. I gotcha. I gotcha. All right, we're in another fight right here. We are fighting Flan and a bug. Let's go ahead and the Mole Dismal is already ready to give up. I'm going to go ahead and just talk to the bug. I don't care. He doesn't care. That's probably not amazing. We didn't even have to move. The aroma of lime gelatin wafted through. I spit the first one. La la la, just be yourself. Why is he doing the worm? This is not the time nor the place. My gossip doesn't have a care in the world. All right, let's go ahead and spear that bad boy right there. Done. Why'd he dance? Probably because of the soundtrack, right? All right, this is the armor. You found faded ribbon. Let's go ahead and equip it. Done. We equipped the ribbon. Yum. I'm not even gonna bother fight that over that vegetoid just down in the ground over there. But it is good to know that we can kind of farm him for help. Diamond place? What? And you did it at my Undertale battle? What? <laughs> what? It's a switch, press it. No, not yet. What does it say? The far door is not an exit. It simply marks a rotation and perspective. Okay, so one of these is the way through, right? Looks through near. We want to go ahead and act on him. We will not pick on him. And we should be in the clear. Well, this is significantly easier after the whole frisk thing. No, don't fight him, you idiot! The spear him. Good. My controller is literally like jumping buttons. It's switch. Press it. I'm going to press it. Nothing happened. It's probably this one then, right? The red one? We'll, we'll press this one. Nothing happened. All right, let's go all the way back to the start of the room then. What happens if we press this? Yes. Nothing happened. Okay, there's probably one behind a pillar or something then, right? I think the creator made Sans have HP because he's the most powerful. Maybe. I feel like there's also an elevation of some characters above the game, and Toby Fox really keeps a consistent kind of theme of this as well, in Deltarune with Spamton and Jevil. I feel like Sans is kind of like above the game. He understands that it's a game, which is why he's not taking it very seriously. But he does kind of have like his, his own bit, which is that he, he has a brother and he, he kind of feels about that brother. All right, we kind of want to go ahead and just spear that flan. Swing your arms, baby. It seems though if we can get this bug alone, then it's absolutely perfectly fine. Excellent. Don't know what the technique for that is supposed to be. Maybe behind this pillar? No, nothing behind that pillar. What about behind this pillar? No, nothing. Okay, we're just gonna go on ahead then. All right, we want to spear the flan and now we want to do nothing. I didn't get the reference? No, I definitely did not get the reference. Okay, we'll spear him. Good. Wonderful. We're doing so well. Okay, uh, don't know which one of these is gonna work. We'll press this one. You hear a clicking sound. Okay, so the one behind the first pillar, I think is the one that gets the nodes down. This one next, maybe? I think? No, nope. that is a hole. Who's? Okay, so nothing in this room. We just go ahead and we hit the one behind here. Is it behind here? It's a switch, press it. Yes. We hear a clicking sound. Okay, first pillar. Whoops. Red Rocks don't go emo, don't go to the dark side. That's okay if he wants to go to the dark side. Being emo is not so bad. I was I was an emo for a good section of my life. We'll go ahead and we will dinner. This what's my dingle right here. We pet our stomach. Excellent. Okay, so there's a green one. Nice! Oh poos! We took a we took a hit anyway. Let's go ahead and just act on the second one to do a dinner. You pet your stomach, bitch to it off as a healthy meal. Thank you! So we should get two healthy meals, right? Oh, we missed it. That's a shame. We were just too slow. And now we mercy both of them. Never mind. We only mercy one of them. Oops, we took a hit. Okay, we're still doing okay, actually. Let's go ahead and do a dinner on this guy. Pat our stomach. Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Oh, poos. I wanted to go for the green one, but unfortunately, it just ended up killing us. Let's mercy him next. Why are we not... Vegetoid's here for your help. 
Is dinner not working on this guy? Why is he so different? Oh, I missed that green one. Damn it. Uh, no, we can't spear him, can we? Okay, so we've got to do another one. We we'll talk to him, maybe? Plants can't talk. That's probably actually good information and advice to follow. That did nothing. How about devour? No! God, that's controller! Yep. I got a green health. Good. Let's go ahead and... Oh, now we can use a mercy against him. Done. Okay, so we've opened this up. The next one is... If you can read this, press the red switch. Okay, so it actually tells us exactly what to press. Let's just go ahead and press it. Done. You're a clicking sound. Excellent. Right, where's the next one? Here it is. Excellent. If you can read this, press the green switch. That's the one in the middle right here, so we'll go ahead and hit this one. I remember that. Excellent. Dog Shark just beat 420 on five nights of Freddy's one. Be proud of him. I'm always proud of him. I'm proud of him regardless of if, if he accomplishes anything in a video game. Let's go ahead and dinner this first guy. We've had our stomach. He should offer us a healthy meal. Give me the green. Yes. Give me that delicious veggie garnish. Let's go ahead and spare that first one. All right. So he is uh, not... Oh, my God. I almost bit the bullet on that one. Let's go ahead and dinner this guy right here. Let's see what happens. He offers us a healthy meal. Let's see if this actually does work. Is it good? Can we, can we mercy him now? Yeah, why wasn't it doing that in the last fight? We did that same strategy three times in a row. It just didn't work. Weird. Okay, we've got a go cross right here. Uh, so we go this way. We get a weapon. I don't really care about the weapon because we are doing a pacifism run. Oh, dear. That took longer than I thought it would. Hello? <laughs> How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there. I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. I was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Er... Well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. All right, good. Let's carry on. We'll do a save right here as well. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. Excellent. Hello, Scott, it's Goldie. All it took was me telling him how to do it for months and months before he actually listened and immediately won using my strat. Okay. Do you smell that? Surprise! It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I will hold off on the snail pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. Okay, I'm gonna poke around in her house now. Christopher Pratula, welcome, Mr. Emoji Man. It's a history book. Here's a random page. Trapped behind the barrier and fearful of further human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth, we walked until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named Home. As great as our king is, Asgore, he is pretty lousy at names. Okay, so, here's the thing, right? Guest is Entry 17 references two additional people that he was talking to. Everybody on the internet has been gaslighting me, telling me it's two other scientists. Um, Asriel? No, Elphis. And also someone I haven't seen yet. I don't even know if the second scientist even exists. I think it's more likely as the royal scientist that he was talking about the two royal people who employed him, Asgore, and Toriel. I also think that after Gaster's death and uh, the kind of when what's her face Kara went missing, which we'll see in the genocide run, I feel like Toriel and Asgore split up. Asgore kept the throne and then chose to live in the past, while Toriel kind of left the throne and lived down here in the ruins, looking for anyone else who would have fallen down the hole to take care of them. What? Gaster? Scott's World Edmonds, that is pretty much true. You're not dead? Yeah, he is. Cite your source. Because everything that I have found, everything that references Gaster on the internet is misinformation and game theories. Okay, what a nice smell. Too hot to eat, though. All right. I uh, probably don't want to poke around in her house too much, right? Just want to respect her privacy and uh, maybe carry on the beaten path? Perhaps? Because that's the thing. Everybody's telling me that Gaster's not dead, but all of the evidence that I'm finding is just that he is actually dead. Hey, do not go down here. I have something to show you upstairs. Whoops. Can we do it again? Or is she just going to come down and say the same line? Hey, do not go down here. 
I have something to show you upstairs. Okay. Okay. I know that it's a little bit jarring for somebody to immediately come into the fandom blind and just start throwing out a bunch of stuff that everybody has already accepted as the headcanon, but unfortunately, there is no evidence that Gaster is still alive. There is evidence that Gaster was pushed into a giant volcano full of magma, and aside from that, nothing happens with Gaster afterwards. This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Is something burning? Um, make yourself at home. It's not the pie, because the pie was taken out of the oven. She is crazy. I have a strange feeling inside me. It feels like I'm floating and dying at the same time. I hope what I drank was actually water. Ah, uh, there's probably water in a, in a nightshade daytura tea. An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. So that would have had a photo of Kara in it. A box of kids' shoes in a disparity of sizes. That would have been Kara. I love that touch so much. I actually love that so, so much. Look at these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. It's because they were not bought for me. They were bought for Kara. The first human to have fallen down here and the first human to have had a revolting soul in the monster world. Toriel's diary. Read the circle passage? Sure. You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. The rest of the page is filled with jokes of a similar caliber. Okay, we're dipping out of here. This place sucks. We're out. <laughs> Yuck! Puns! Why did the skeleton go to a strip club? Because he had a boner. I think you should play upstairs instead. Hope your head doesn't hurt. What, my head or, or Red Rux's head? If he drank a poison, he's, he's probably going to feel a, a sore head eventually. Okay, let's go ahead and talk to Toriel. Hello there, little one. The pie has not cooled down yet. Perhaps you should take a nap. No. You'd rather stay up and chat with me then. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books that I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I am glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? Uh, when can we go home? We can't go home, that's the thing. What? This, this is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I am reading? It is called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Uh, sure. There is an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails have a chainsaw-like tongue called a radula? Interesting. Yeah. Well, bother me if you need anything else. You got any more snail facts? Like how they have thousands of little feet? Okay, how do you exit the ruins in? I have to do something. Stay here. What's she gonna do? Is she chaining up the exit? No, the exit's not chained up. That's so strange, actually. Where'd she go? Not in here. Okay, let's check out bedroom. Her bedroom. Nope, she's not in here either. What about in here? Hello? Room under renovations. Is she renovating the room? It's you! That is me, actually. That is me. Or it's a reflection of me. Why didn't the skeleton go to the dance? Because skeletons aren't conscious? Uh, that's an anti-joke. That's such an anti-joke. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Where the hell did she go? Where could she? Can we take a weapon? The ends of the tools have been filed down to make them safer. Probably because of Kara. Let's face it. So, I can't really uh, prove anything in this run here with all the pacifism stuff, but Kara was an absolute piece of garbage. Uh, the first human to fall down. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins, a one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I am going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. No. We'll see what happens to Kara. Me were not here an anti-joke accurate. Yeah, I know, right? Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. So Kara was the first human that fell down here. She had a crap soul. I think because of the intro to this game, she had a crap soul because she was still massively reinforced by the education she would have received post-war. Like, very, very soon after the war, she would have been taught that, hey, monsters are revolting and we are the victors, so they are the bad guys, which is usually what happens after a war. 
history is written by the victors. Kara would have had that education. She would have come down into the monster world and then she would have just uh, seen all these monsters as subhuman. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child. If you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I am only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. No, I will do no such thing. What is your most recent nightmare? It was the Skitter Beast. Uh, he's, he's kind of like, he's got four, he's got two legs, he's got two arms, he's got really long nails, really long black hair, uh, quite long and lanky, maybe eight feet tall. He crawls on the ceiling and he uh, sits on the ceiling above you. And if you uh, look at him, he consumes your soul. So the, the whole way of beating the Skitter Beast is to pretend you're asleep because he doesn't know any better. This is your final warning. Do not try to stop me. You want to leave so badly? Hmm. You're just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me that you are strong enough to survive. Easy! Mine was that I was a celebrity and I accidentally said the N-word and went to prison and <laughs> got beaten to death in my cell with a metal pipe. Yeah, you got Sons of Anarchy. You got Obeed. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and act, right? We'll talk with him. You couldn't think of any conversation topics. Yes, I could. I could obviously think of convers- Okay, let's go through the- Ah, damn, we took two hits. Toriel looks through you. How about we just mercy her? No, we can't do that. Let's go ahead and check her. Toriel, attack 80, defense 80, knows the best for you. Oh! We probably just have to outlast her, right? Like that video game, outlast? Toriel takes a deep breath. Right, I'm going to talk to her again. You tried to think of something to say again, but apparently we are just absolute simpletons. Oh! I don't want to be hit by those. Toriel prepares a magical attack. Okay, I'm still going to talk to her again. Ironically, talking does not seem to be the solution to the situation. <laughs> that is an irony. Ah, oh, poos. I got hit by that. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, good. Nice! Toriel prepares a magical attack. Maybe we just try and spear her. Ah! Damn it! Wait, did I take that last one? Toriel is acting aloof. Actually, since we've got time, let's just eat a monster candy. You ate the monster candy. We got 10 HP as well. Good. Good. Whoa, whoa, damn it! Okay, we took one of those. Toriel prepares a magical attack. Mercy! Ah! Ah! Okay, we took one of those, unfortunately. Toriel looks through you. Mercy! Look through this, you big bastard! Oh, poos! Ah, there's so many bits of damage! Toriel looks through you again. Spin! Oh! Okay, and I want to bait these around in kind of like a circle, don't I? Excellent. Great! You are blowing Toriel's back out so well right now. I know, right? She's not gonna, she's not gonna be able to lift those enormous bazingas on her chest whatsoever. Let's bear her again. What are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? I'm trying my best not to attack you, lady. Toriel is acting aloof. Mercy! Attack her, run away! I will do neither such thing. Okay, I took one of those straight to the chest and one of those. We got three health. Toriel prepares magical attack. I'm gonna spear her. What are you proving this way? That I don't need to fight or run away. I don't need cowardice. Toriel takes a deep breath. Mercy! Fight me or leave. Oh, ah, damn it. Okay, we took a hit. Toriel looks through you. Mercy, stop it. Hey, nice. Okay, we've beaten her. We've blown her heart out as well as her back as well. She takes a deep breath. Stop looking at me that way. Well, sucks to be her, right? And now I'm having a nosebleed? Yeah, I know, right? This is such a damn good fight. All right, we'll spare her. Go away! Hit me! Hit me! <laughs> Toriel prepares a magical attack and a spare her again. Man, she sucks at this combat stuff, right? I thought she was really powerful, but now she sucks. She, I, I think she feels really, really bad, right? Because she typecast us as a human. Humans, traditionally in this game, are just massive aggressors against monsters. I know what you, I know you want to go home, but... But please, go upstairs now. I promise I will take good care of you here. I know we do not have much, but we can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. Haha. <laughs> Pathetic.
pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. So every other kid who fell down here had to beat her in a different way. We are the first one to actually show mercy. I don't think it's because of the fight. Bollocks, I call cat. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Thank you for the hug, Toriel. I like this. I like this. Goodbye, my child. Let's see what happens when we go back. Is she just gonna like attack us if we go back? I told you not to come back. I'm pulling out the big guns now. Fireball. Chains. Death. Hey, Toriel! How's your back? Alright, let's go ahead and save in here because I want to talk to her again. Let's just harass her. She knows she can't attack us or defeat us. I'm just going to harass her a little bit. Hello? Goat mother? Where are you? I've got questions! Many questions! Was Gaster's corpse recovered? No? Where is she? In here? No. She must be in the renovation room then. Room under renovations. So I still have no idea what's in there, but I've got a sneaky suspicion that this may be a one-way mirror. It's you! Like, I don't know why, but I, I, I just, I feel like it's a one-way mirror. Or it's the bathroom, because we haven't seen a single toilet yet, and we know from Deltarune that Toriel does in fact need to poop. She's not perfect. She actually does need to poop. It's, a, it's canon. Pooping? Pooping Toriel is canon, and please, for the love of God, nobody draw that. I know how everybody gets every time somebody says a new concept in Undertale and Deltarune. Don't draw Toriel pooping. It's, it's not right. It's, there does not need to be R34 of that. And this is a long-ass hallway. I don't remember it being this long. Oh! Clever! Very clever! You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed, so you're able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. <laughs> I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die and you'll die and you'll die until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world? And let me inherit the power to control it! Why I'm the prince of this world's future! Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting! <laughs> Currently opening Procrete right now? No idea what that means. I don't speak much Latin. Okay, so that... I don't think that was... Was that there in the blind playthrough? Undertail! Dun 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 dun! Big Kirby Fix! Nice, we've escaped into a creepy, creepy area. There's a camera hidden in the bushes. So that uh, belongs to Elphus. Elphus has put up cameras everywhere because he's afraid, as royal scientist, that he's going to be assassinated next because that's what happened to Gaster. Boom. Everything ties into my theory. There, there is literally nothing that debunks it. Everything that I say is, is just correct. It's a tough looking branch. It's too heavy to pick up. Okay, I'm not even going to try then. Hello? Why is this forest echoing? Oh, it's a cave or underground. I forgot about that. Pro creators and art app? Not the way I do it, my dude. Jensen, you don't need to laugh. He's already laughing. I think I just saw a shadow. Was it Sans? I just started my break. Hey there, Tail. How are we today? I'm uh, being stalked in this forest by some kind of skeletonly figure. 
Oh no! I can just go through those bars. All right, so this is Sans, right? I remember Sans. Sans is charming enough. And he's got a voice like Patrick Starr. Human, don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. I also killed his brother in the last playthrough. I'm glad he doesn't remember that. Oh my god, it's my... <laughs> the old whoopee cushion and the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyways, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now, but, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, Papyrus, is a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through the skate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. So someone did point out to me that it's not pronounced papyrus, it's pronounced papyrus. So I'm really, really sorry for the uh, mix-up. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. That is convenient. We can even drool and get away with it. So, bro? You know what's up, brother? It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles! You just hang around outside your station! What are you even doing? Staring at this lab? It's really cool. Do you want to look? No! I don't have time for that! What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready! I will be the one! I must be the one! So the reason they've actually got protectors out here as well is because Toriel is the first line of defense. If Toriel cannot keep them there with empathy and uh, good nature, they are to be captured and brought to Asgore. That's basically how it goes. Bro, did you just crap yourself? Maybe. Maybe I did. I am the fart master chain. Me or Yinsen? I am so confused, chat. I will be the one! I must be the one! I will capture a human! Then I, the great papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve! Respect! Recognition! I will finally be able to join the royal guard! People will ask to be my friend! I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning! Uh, maybe this lamp will help you. Sans! You are not helping, you lazy bones! All you do is sit and boondoggle! You get lazier and lazier every day! Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done today. Now he's lazy because he knows that everything's pointless and fruitless. He doesn't need to do anything. Me when I haven't 100%ed Undertale. What, when you crap yourself? A skeleton. Sans! Come on, you're smiling. I am and I hate it. Uh, why does it, someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Well, sounds you're, you're really working yourself down to the bone. Ah! Uh, I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> Okay, you can come out now. Right! No, when I'm the fart master, I promise my humor isn't actually this bad. All right, I'll have to take your word for it because your last joke was absolutely revolting. You ought to get going. He might come back, and if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. Oh, can't have that. What about this? It's some sort of checkpoint or sentry station. But there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. Okay, so it's it's kind of been requisitioned, hasn't it? It used to be kind of like a piece a piece of tourism industry, and now it's actually just a guarding station. Actually, hey, I hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous, even if he tries to be. Thanks to a million, I'll be up ahead. Okay, I'll see you there. Thank you, Sans. The convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. <laughs> I love all the continuity jokes in this game. They are charming. This right here is supposed to be another plot point of Gaster. This right here is supposed to be tied to Gaster. I have no goddamn idea why people think this because there's no evidence pointing towards it either. Okay, let's go ahead. It's a fishing pole affixed to the ground. Reel it in? Yes, it's a note. 
All that's attached to the end is a photo of a weird looking monster. Call me, here's my number. You decide not to call. So that is a catfish. We just got catfished. Okay, what's this? Use the box? No. No, I don't need to store anything. So as I was saying about Undyne. Can we, can we see that behind my head? They're doing some double takes. Look at this. They have no idea what's going on. Dance! Oh my god! Is that a human? Uh, actually, I think that's a rock. Oh! Hey, what's that in front of the rock? Oh my god! Is, is that a human? Yes. Oh my god! Sand, I finally did it! Undyne, well, I'm gonna... I'll be so popular! 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 <clears throat> Human, you shall not pass this area! I, the Great Papyrus, will stop you! Then I will capture you! You will be delivered to the capital! Then, then! I'm not sure what's next! In any case, continue, only if you dare! <laughs> well, that went well. Don't sweat it, kid. I'll keep an eye socket out for you. That was nice of him. That was nice of him. Oh, we're fighting. I forgot there was combat in this. Snow Drake battle flutters forth. Let's go ahead and... Let's tell it a joke. You make a bad ice pun. I've heard that one. Okay. Did you like it? Snow Drake is smiling at its own bad joke. Okay. A laugh. You laugh at Snow Drake before it says anything funny. What are you laughing at? Uh, the joke that I thought you were smiling at. Snow Drake is practicing its next pun. Okay. Let's heckle. You he tell the Snow Drake that they aren't funny. This won't be funny either. Oh, poops. Actually, this is not so bad. <laughs> Snow Drake is smiling at its own bad joke. Mercy! Spear! Ice to meet you! Oh, yes! Now that is the kind of great A Bill Burr comedy that I am here for. Let's go ahead and laugh. <laughs> oh, Dad was wrong. Yeah, show Dad. You can be funny. You can be funny to someone else. Snow Drake is pleased with its own cool joke. Excellent, now we can spear him. And he's gone. Wow. What a guy, huh? Okay, what does this say? Absolutely no moving. Okay, I've already broken that rule. Doggo? Did something move? Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. If something was moving, for example, a human, I'll make sure it never moves again. Okay. 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 I'm gonna act on the doggo. I'm gonna pet him. Doggo is too suspicious of your movements. Don't move an inch. Okay. Thanks for the heads up. Doggo can't seem to find anything. I'm gonna go ahead and just mercy him. Will it move this time? No. There's nothing there, my dude. Doggo can't seem to find anything. Will it move this time? No. Doggo can't seem to find anything. Okay, what about now? Can we check him? Doggo, attack 13, defense 7, easily excited by movement. Hoppies include squirrels. Will it move this time? No! Doggo can't seem to find anything. Do we have to, like, move? You pet Doggo. What? I've been pet! Pet? 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 <laughs> Doggo has been pet. Okay, we can now spear him. Done. You won! We got 30 bucks for that pet. Something pet me. Something that isn't moving. I'm gonna need some dog treats for this. Okay, he's gonna go smoke a fat bowl of treats. Hello? Is anybody there? No? Okie dokie! Let's get some dog treats. Someone's been smoking dog Oh, he actually is taking drugs. That's funny. Okay, so... Hey, there's something important to remember. My brother has a very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move and it won't hurt you. There's an easy way to keep it in mind. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you see stop, right? Stop signs are red. Imagine a blue stop sign instead. Simple, right? When fighting, think about blue stop signs. That's not helpful. Okay, let's see what this sign has to tell us. North, ice, south, ice, west, and ice. And east is Snowden Town, and also ice. All right, let's go down here, because there's ice down here, or not. Where is north? What game are you planning on playing next? Dead 
Space! Ice Cap struts into view. I'm going to be playing a little bit of Dead Space. I really want to beat it. Okay, let's go ahead and act on this Ice Cap. We want to... Well, let's mug it. You tried to steal the Ice Cap's hat, but it's not weakened enough. I knew it! Thief! Oh, no. Oh, no. He, he knows we're a thief. Oh, they go up and they go down. Ice Cap is thinking about a certain article of clothing. Okay. That's weird of him. Let's compliment him. You inform Ice Cap that it has a great hat. Envious? Too bad! Well, this guy's, uh... Ah, oh, poos. Oh, that's a tricky one, actually. It's snowing dandruff. Gross. I don't like that. I don't like that whatsoever. Let's go ahead and just ignore him. You managed to tear your eyes away from Ice Cap's hat. It looks annoyed. Hello? My hat's up here! I don't care, my dizzle. How did I take damage on that one? I mean, like, what game are you starting next? Oh, uh, I'm going to be going through a bunch of the ones that I've already started to try and maybe 100% them, or at worst case scenario, get through the story. Because there's been a lot of games that I've started and not finished on my channel, and uh, I think now is a good opportunity to actually finish them. Let's just mercy him. Spare. I just love my hat, okay? All right. I could not give two hoots what you love, my dude. Ice Cap is secretly checking if you're looking at its hat. All right, let's see. Let's compliment its hat. You've got a great hat. My hat's too loud for me to hear you. Uh, that's lovely. I guess. Best of luck to you. Ice Cap is secretly checking if you're looking at its hat. Are we? I'm ignoring him. You continue not looking at Ice Cap's hat. It seems defeated. Okay, I'll ignore you too. Or you could attack me. <laughs> Ice Cap is desperate for attention. All right, I'm leaving. Seek, out, seek validation from someone else, dickhead. All right, he gave us 13 bucks to ignore him. That's funny. Uh, the snowman right here. Hello, I'm a snowman. I want to see the world, but I cannot move. If you would be so kind, traveler, please take a piece of me and bring it very far away. Yes, I'll do that. Thank you. Good luck. My time in Porsche, 100%? Absolutely not. There is no way in hell anyone could get me back into that game. That game was revolting at its end. Like, halfway through the game, the game stopped being good and started being really jank, crap, and repetitive. I do not want to have to spend eight hours replaying the same dungeon over and over and over again, just to 100% the dungeon. And on top of that, there's nothing more to see in my time in Portia. We could obviously get married, we could uh, plant a bunch of stuff, but that's it. That's literally it. You said you'd 100% the game, lol. Yeah, and then I finished it and I realised it was actually a piece of garbage. Every game on the channel? I'm not going back to that one. There's no way I'm going back to that one. No, there's, there's literally no way anyone could convince me to go back to that one. It started really good. I loved the first 20 hours of it, and then the cracks started to show, and then the last ending cutscene for the game was so unpolished that the whole game just made me realise, oh my god, they did not take this game seriously or playtest it whatsoever. Dang it. Yeah, unfortunately, some games are just going to be like that. You're so lazy! You were napping all night! I think that's called sleeping. Excuses, excuses! Oh no, the human arrives! In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles. I think you will find this one quite shocking. For you see, this is the invisible electricity maze. When you touch the walls of this maze, this orb will administer a hearty zap. Sound like fun? Because the amount of fun you will probably have is actually rather small, I think. Okay, you can go ahead now. Sans, what did you do? I think the human has to hold the orb. Oh, okay. This game has a lot of charm to it. Rainbow Six 2 and game achievements? No, because multiplayer doesn't work anymore. All the servers have closed down, so you can't get 100%. You can't even get 50% of the achievements in Rainbow Six Vegas 2. There are some games that I've intentionally abandoned, and that is because you cannot physically finish them. My time at Portia is broken as hell. Uh, it's really bugged, like really bugged. I played it for a little bit after all of the recordings and it, it doesn't function to a certain point. If you speed the song up by 1200, 1200% uh, you can hear creams of the damned. But any non-online achievements? Maybe, because they're all tied to experience. They're not interesting to watch, so I wouldn't necessarily consider them like fun. Okay, they're not fun, they're not fun. So for the sake of achievement hunting, I could probably get to them like when I've got bottom of the barrel kind of the stuff to get through. But at the same time, like I'm not, uh, yeah. Uh, 
some achievements are good. Some, some achievements are really good for games. But when there are achievements like reach level 150 by beating 10,000 classes as an engineer on Battlefield Bear Company 2, it's not fun anymore. It becomes a grind. That's that's a big no-no. I'm, I'm not going to be doing any of those. Okay, we'll take this orb. Okay, try now! Wow, that was difficult, actually. Incredible, you slippery snail! You solved it so easily! Too easily! Gas Station Sim, 100%. Yeah, most likely, actually. I might even play some Gas Station Sim after Dead Space today. The creams of the damned! I love that video so much. Oh my god. We have all seen that, right? The uh, the developer review of, of Zonny Blue. I love that so much. However, the next puzzle will not be easy. It is designed by my brother Sans. You will surely be confounded. I know I am. Nah, 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 nah. Hey, Sans, what do you have to say? Hey, thanks. My brother seems like he's having fun. By the way, did you see that weird outfit he's wearing? He made that a few weeks ago for a costume party. He hasn't worn anything else since. Keeps calling it his battle body. Man, isn't my brother cool? <laughs> He's a roleplay guy. How long will I be streaming for today? Well, I started early so I can finish late. I don't understand why these just aren't selling. It's the perfect weather for something cold. Oh, a customer. It is not actually. Would you like some nice cream? It's a frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 15 gold. Absolutely not. I'm not spending my money on that crap. I'm a pacifist, and therefore I'm greedy. That's, that's the trade-off. <laughs> okay, we've got a soccer ball right here. I don't really think it's necessary. Uh, so, there was something down here that we could take, right? What was this? Looks like a snowball. Actually, it's a snow decahedron. Wow, impressive. All right, there's a puzzle right over there. What is over here? I've completely forgotten the game, by the way. Okay, that's kind of fun. Whee! Sliding around the ice. We'll go this way first. I don't know what Sans has to say to us, but I don't really care. Hello? His. And that one says hers, right? Hers, yes. Okay. Smell danger rating. Snow smell. Snowman. White rating can become yellow rating. Huh? Unsuspicious smell. Puppy blue rating. Smell of rolling around. Weird smell. Humans. Green rating. Destroy at all costs. Okay, so green is kind of like a bad thing, right? I've been thinking about selling treats too. Want some fried snow? It's just five gold. Yes, please. Did I say five gold? I meant 50 gold. Sure. Really? How about 50... What about 5,000 gold? Sure. 500,000 gold. That's my final offer. Sure. What? You don't have the money? Hey, that's okay. I don't have any snow. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Spamton. That is your real name. You should proofread your comments. Why? <laughs> Why would I proofread my comments? Yubin, I hope you're ready for... Sans, where's the puzzle? It's right there, on the ground. Trust me, there's no way they can get past this one. All right, we've got a word search in here, right? Done. That was easy. Sans, that didn't do anything! Whoops. I knew I should have used today's crossword instead. What? Crossword? I can't believe you said that! In my opinion, Junior Jumble is easily the hardest! What? Really, dude? That easy peasy word scramble? That's it for baby bones. Unbelievable! Human, solve this dispute! Which is harder? Oh, it's gotta be a crossword, right? You two are weird! Crosswords are so easy! It's the same solution every time! I just fill all the boxes with the letter Z! Because every time I look at a crossword, all I can do is snore! Nya nya nya! Well, that's not good. I'm just pushing past. So this is the mouse saving point again. Knowing the mouse might one day find a way to heat up the spaghetti, it fills you with confidence. No, determination. Jensen, can you do the can't wait to meet you dance at, at 1,000, at, at, sorry, 1,000. What is that dance? I've never heard of it. Warning, dog marriage. I love dog marriages. Oh my God, that is my jam. What's going on? Lesser dog appears. Okay, let's go ahead and pet him. Wow, there are so many options to pet this dog. You barely lifted your hand unless the dog got excited. How excited though? Is he gonna jump? Yes, he's gonna jump, okay. Unless the dog is barking excitedly. I know how to dodge a dog. Yo, hey there. I love your content, thank you so much. Unless the dog is barking excitedly. Let's go ahead and act on, no, we'll spear him. Done. 
What what happens if you just pet him for like three flat days? What's in here? Okay, there is a treasure map. So we need to go in between two big chungus things and then we need to pick something up. This looks familiar. There's a switch hidden in the snow. Click. Dunyan rings. You don't deserve mercy for putting that title into the stream? What? Look, I started as Frisk and I thought that I'd be going through on the hardest difficulty, which means that I'd be like, kind of screaming my way through like, like that kind of vibe, right? But as it turns out, Frisk is actually just annoying. And it's not frustrating, it's annoying because you don't get up to the, another save. You just, you have to get really, really good at all of the end game characters. And I can already see kind of like the progression stacking up more monsters on top of each other as you go on instead of just introducing harder monsters. So it just becomes more obnoxious to have to deal with the same monsters. So when it clicks for a monster, you're not actually learning anything new. You're just kind of like doing the same thing until the end of the game, which I'm not really vibing. What's that smell? Where's that smell? If you're a smell, identify your smell. Why would I do that? I'm not doing that. <sighs> la, 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 la. We actually, we named ourselves Mercy though. We went from Frisk to Mercy. There's that weird smell. Makes me want to eliminate. Eliminate you! Okay, we got doggy assaults. Let's go ahead and, oh, dogger me and dogger Ressa. Let's go ahead and roll around. You roll around in the dirt and snow. This is gonna make us smell really good. You smell like a weird puppy. Just, it's what we want. Let's kick human tail. Whoa, whoa. I'm going into the blue hearts, by the way. <laughs> the dogs may want to re-smell you. They're absolutely welcome to. I do not mind if they re-smell me. Okay, let's roll around some more. You roll around in the dirt and snow. You smell like a weird puppy. Nice. Nice. What? Oh, that's right. We can't move through the blues. Whoops. I just took that one straight to the face. The dogs may want to re-smell you. That's absolutely fine. I don't mind. We probably want to re-snip, right? Your username looks like one of those strong passwords that Apple gives you when you sign up to a website. Yes, it does. Are you going to 100% the Battlefield games, though? No. I just wanted to get through the campaigns. The online stuff I'm not interested in whatsoever. Wait, how? How did you rename yourself before a pacifist run? Uh, I took a Bachelor's of IT. I didn't finish it, but I learned enough to be able to change the, the text pad configuration file. Actually, no, we deleted the text pad configuration file because we we did technically change our name in the game, but it still kept the frisk like difficulty value, so we had to completely restart from scratch. After rolling around in the dirt, you smell all right. Nice! I don't know how to dodge these, to be quite frank. I don't think we can. The dogs think that you may be a lost puppy. Excellent. All right, let's see if they'll spare us. Pet. We'll pet them. You pet dog me. Wow, pet by another pup. Okay, we probably have to go down low, right? And then we have to bring it up slow. Ah, right, okay. I figured that one out. The dogs think that you may be a lost puppy. I am kind of a lost puppy. Let's go ahead and re-sniff them. The dogs already know you smell fine. Wonderful. Okay, this... Oh, poos! I just took damage. And then we want to roll back into the middle. That one's not so bad when you kind of know how to get around it. That makes sense, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does make sense when you actually do it. So now we probably just want to roll... Oh, poos. This controller is actually sandbagging us. Okay, we don't want to move through that blue. Actually, let's just go through the hearts. Or we could face tank that round. The dogs think that you may be a lost puppy. Uh, we probably want to pet, right? You pet dog me. He loves it. His wife on the... Okay, fine. His wife, on the other hand, does not like that we pet the, the male, I think. Let's go ahead and pet the other one, then. You pet the dog Arisa. A dog that pets dogs. Amazing! It is, is it not? I'm going through it. I'm going through it. Okay, I'm going through it. we got to get really, really good at dodge, duck, dip diving and dodging. The mo dog's minds have been expanded. Spared! We won. We got 40 bucks for that. How I got this username is actually quite interesting. So I love GD and needed a username and I love music so I started with a DJ. And then I added three random characters and then I got a YouTube and PC and added four random numbers. Good grief! Yep, that is, uh... <laughs> That is a, maybe a string of text. It is a string of text by definition. Jensen, you still have the stick item? No, I didn't even pick it up. Is GD geometry dash? Yeah, it's got to be right. Okay, we're done. Dogs can pet other dogs. A new world has opened up for us. Thanks, weird puppy. You're welcome. Married dogs. 
Okay, we just like, we change these ones, don't we? And then we hit the button. What? How did you avoid my trap? And more importantly, is there any left for me? What do you tell Pepperus about his spaghetti? I ate it. Really? Wowee! No one's ever enjoyed my cooking before. Well then, Brett, not human. I, Master Chef Papyrus, will make you all the pasta you could ever want. Yeah! <laughs> wow. Okay. I just, I just absolutely blew his trap out of the water. Uh. My brother started a sock collection recently. How saddening! Sometimes I wonder what he would do without such a cool guy taking care of him. What a guy, huh? If you use the stick in any dogfight, you can spear them immediately. Oh! You have the stick as a default weapon. That is cool. That is really cool. Remnant 2 after Remnant 1, 100%. I'm going to leave those for a while. I've actually got a really, really big plan uh, for those. And it's going to kind of incorporate a project that I'm working on on the side as well. The Remnant games. Human! Hmm, how do I say this? You were taking a long time to arrive, so I decided to improve this puzzle by arranging the snow to look more like my face. Unfortunately, the snow froze to the ground. Now the solution is different. And as usual, my lazy brother is nowhere to be found. Suppose what I am saying is, worry not, human. I, the great Papyrus, will solve this conundrum, and then we can both proceed. Meanwhile, feel free to try the puzzle. You're safe. I'll try not to give away the answer. Okay, I actually know the answer to this puzzle. It's really goddamn easy. We're gonna go all the way around here, then we're gonna realize we cocked it up. So we go down and we reset this. Baga. Baga. Okay, let's go in here, up and around this right here. We're gonna stand on this, go back out, stand on that, go back out. Done! I don't wanna hit the reset button. What? That's it. Oh, and then press switch. Okay, done. Wow, you solved it. And you did it all without my help. Incredible. I'm impressed. You must care about puzzles like I do. Well, I'm sure you'll love the next puzzle then. It might even be too easy for you. <laughs> what a dick. What an actual dick. Dry out or base after base? What the, what the devil? Help me settle- oh, okay, that's not to me. Also, the stick is usable once in Metaton's fight to gain 700 audience. Wow. Yes, uh, will you be doing King of Retail 100%? I kind of did. There's not really much you can add to it, other than uh, basically just get a store to a really, really good point, because after that, when money starts snowballing, the 100% has already technically been completed. You can get all the achievements, of course, but um, most of it's waiting, and it takes uh, hours and hours, like tens and tens of hours, close to 100 hours to get all of those achievements. Equip some other weapon and put the stick on your items and keep it there. I don't have the stick. I didn't pick it up. What was your childhood obsession? Mine was Sia, the singer. Mine would have to be Kim Possible. I was all about that stuff when I was a kid. Kim Possible. What's the sitch? You know that kind of stuff. Can you do house, live stream? A uh, Dr. Mike does house. Go watch him uh, react to it. Got to get all the achievements. That's how 100% works. Yeah, but here's the thing, right? This is my channel. It's named after me, Jensen. So I get to choose what I 100%. Because here's the thing. If I put out content on the internet that sucks, that I'm not happy with, then I am letting myself down and I will not be doing it. It already is as your weapon. Oh, really? Bandit, snowman piece, stats. I Oh, I see weapon stick. Oh, cool. So wait, what do I do with it? Okay, so we already know all of this, right? It's it's just... This is just a nothing burger. None of this actually matters. So how do we actually use the stick? Do we have to hit the dogs with the sticks? You can replace it for any other weapon you get. Okay, so we haven't got another weapon. That's, that's the thing. And then you just use the item. And then keep the stick in your items. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll keep the stick on the items. So we gotta actually get another weapon, which I didn't necessarily think was necessary, but seems to be the case, right? Understand the explanation? Yeah, it was really, really good, thanks. <laughs> Great, then there's one last thing. This puzzle is entirely random. No, it's not. <laughs> In the box, check the nearest box for a weapon called Tough Glove. Okay, I'll do that as well. And God roll, please. Give us a God roll. You don't really need to attack, but you need the stick. 
Oh, uh, oh, right, okay. We don't need to attack, we just use the item. Gotcha. I'll try that. Bugger! Curse you, RN Jesus! Hey, bud, what's up? Actually, that spaghetti from earlier. It wasn't doing bad for my brother. Since he started cooking lessons, he's been improving a lot. I bet if he keeps it up, next year he'll even have to make something edible. He doesn't have taste buds, that's the thing. Doggo! We didn't see this doggo here last time because we killed him! This dog is staring blankly into the snow, waiting for it to turn into art. This d okay. Is this like a... It's not a, a, a rip-on kind of like writer's block, is it? Because I know the dog is supposed to somewhat represent Toby Fox. Knowing that the dog will never give up trying to make the perfect snow dog, it fills you with determination. Okay, so the game's actually starting to change at this point. On the floor inside is a box of pomeraisins. That's... we can't eat that. That's not for us. There's a deer here. That dog considers itself an artist, but doesn't ever know what to create. It probably doesn't help that its brain is the size of a piece of kibble. It's not very nice. Lady? It's not very nice at all. Okay, let's go to... This one first. Oops, I fell off the hole. What the hell is this? It's a lump of snow with the word sans written on it in red marker. Yeah, he doesn't try because he's uh, ascended godhood. It's a snow papyrus. Good for him. Good for him. What if there's a secret there? Probably not, right? I'm gonna slide all the way over here. I'm slipping and sliding. Like I'm at Waterworld. No, that's a, uh, uh, that's not a, it's not a place with slip and slides, is it? That's a place where animals live? Done. Very nice. Very nice. During a fight with any dog, if you use the sticking your item menu like a healing item, but instead it will instantly make the dog spearable. Peppy sus, he is very peppy sus, isn't he? I love how he gives him gigantic muscles, even though he doesn't have muscles. Sus Among Us? What a tiny dog house. Who's in it? Woof. Yeah, well said, my dude. So this one's got money in it, right? It's a snow puff. Don't know what the hell that means. Doggo! Doggo! Can we all see it? It's over my shoulder. Oh, piss. <laughs> it's the greater dog. Oh, I love this boss's song so much. Okay, let's go ahead and... Play. Greater dog is not excited enough to play with. Okie dokie. Dodge. Greater dog is waiting for your command. Okay, beckon. You call the greater dog. It bounds towards you, flicking slobber into your face. Ah! If I'd known that was an actual attack, I would have dodged it. Greater dog is seeking affection. Damn it, dog, you are going to get some affection as a pet. Greater dog curls up in your lap as it is pet by you. Your legs are crushed by the enormous weight. It gets so comfortable, it falls asleep. And then it wakes up. It's so excited. I don't think we actually have to move away from that, right? Greater dog is patting the ground with its front paws. Okay, let's go ahead and... Play! We'll play with it! You make a snowball and throw it for the dog to fetch. It splats on the ground. Greater dog picks up all the snow in the area and brings it to you. Now dog is very tired. It rests its head on you. It's gonna do balks! It's balking at me! It did some balks. Greater dog wants some TLC. I don't want no scrub. Scrub is a guy that can get no love from me. Hanging up the passenger side of his best friend's ride. Trying to holler at me. That's it, right? Uh, do we ignore him? No, we pet him, right? As you pet the dog, it sinks its entire weight into you. Your movement's slow, but you still haven't pet enough! Bollocks! Cap! I'm calling Cap! Pet capacity is 40%, good grief. Ooh. During a fight with any dog, if you use the stick- okay. Beck and play, pet pet, okay, I'll do that. Or alternatively, let's find Larry. I've already played Let's Find Larry, it's on the channel. And it's edited. Now pet twice, okay. At! Pet! You pet decisively. Pet capacity reaches 100%. The dog flops over with its legs hanging in the air. Ah, oh, it's gonna bork! It's not tired enough for its borks to kind of like not break the sound barrier though. Great, the dog is contented. And now we throw the stick at it. <laughs> now we hit it with the stick. 40 gold, 40 buckery booze. Hey, doggo! It gave me a lick on my lips. It is now ass night. You've heard of Shovel Knight, now Arse Knight. Very good. Okay. 
Excellent. So what was down here? Now, there was act Oh, yes, there was a hidden secret down here that people were referencing is related to Gaster. But again, it's another thing where people are absolutely full of garbage because they don't cite their source and it's not based on facts. Okay, okay, okay. Dragon's Dogma, 100%. Yep, that one's also... Uh, I can't wait to play that one, actually. But I'm going to be beating Dead Space first. Go forward, there's nothing there. I will do that. We've got Grip Truck confronting us. Okay, we can undecorate it. We could decorate it. I'm decorating it. You had some googly eyes you found on the ground. Gosh darn teenage googly eyes! Don't harm me! Don't harm me! <laughs> His character model actually changed. <laughs> Gift rot stumbles blindly. Okay, let's decorate it again. You can't improve on perfection. <laughs> ah, that's funny. I love that. Gift rot stumbles blindly. Okay, we'll gift it. We'll do a gift. Gift rot refuses your gift. All right. How do I know it's not a trick? Uh, because I'm a human. When were humans ever known for violence and trickery? The war? <laughs> I well, kind of want to undirect and decorate him now. You remove the googly eyes. Thanks for nothing. Okay, so that was just funny for the sake of funny, I think. I'm not entirely sure that actually progressed the fright. Gift Trot laments its lack of hands. Okay, let's gift it some hands. Gift Trot refuses your gift. How do I know it's not a trick? Suck a penis, you dick. Oh my god. Eyes you with suspicion. Why? Decorate. You had some googly eyes you found on the ground. Okay, good. I've googled it. I've googled it. We've taken a bit of damage. He stumbles around blindly. What an asshole. Let's spare him. Ho, ho, ho. Go ahead and laugh. Oh, no. Oh! Moving into the blue one cost us that fight. Undecorate. Valheim, 100%. Uh, I was playing that with a friend. There is never going to be 100%, by the way. It's still getting updated. Undecorate. It does. Undecorate. Undecorate. You stumbled upon the same rock twice. What do you mean, same rock? Okay, we're all the way back here. We probably have to fight Doggo again, right? Oh, my God. This is really far back. Oh, no! No! This puzzle is so difficult! I haven't done similar things a thousand different times in other video games at all! I lied, by the way. Okay, good. Now, on the other side of here, we've got some snow in our head. What was down here? Sand! Sands is down here this time. He wasn't down here before. What's up? Yeah, I'm just looking at all of these, uh... Ah! Oh no, okay, so now let's try and uh, mess this guy up. SCP Secret Files 1005. I, I beat it, I 100%ed it. SCP Secret, did you even watch it? I beat the whole game. I 100%ed it. I got everything. I got all the secret endings and everything. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and... I don't really want to fight him. I'm gonna try and decorate, get everything off of his head. All the like candy canes and stuff. You remove a stocking filled with chicken nuggets. Oh, he's gonna love that. That's a little better. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, you can just dodge them flat out. Did you participate in the Halloween event? What, of the SCP Secret Files? I don't know how I would do that because I didn't play it on Halloween. Uh, let's go ahead and undecorate him again. This is definitely the answer. You remove a small confused dog. That's a little better. Okay. This is the one. Oh, damn it, I took that hit anyway. Slightly less irritate. Let's go ahead and undecorate him. You remove the striped cane that says, I use this tiny cane to walk on on it. A weight has been lifted. Excellent. Whoops. Okay, let's mercy him now. Like what I mean? You can do a one and done for the Halloween event. It's cool, lol. Yeah, but then I actually need to play it during Halloween. And that's something I have to memorize, which I'm medicated for. Did you ever play that one game where it's a whole ton of puzzle boxes and there was like an entire plot about corruption? The Room? The Room 2? The Room 3? The Room Beginnings? I played those. Okay, we did those. Sense step. Two. Are you following me? Are you following me? There's multiple instances of him. Yes, yeah, I played all of the rooms. I played them all on uh, mobile before they ever came to PC. Oh, this is a fun value thing. It's a door. So, 
There is actually something to do with this room based on RNG, but you need a, uh, a hidden value you roll at the start of the game called a fun value to access it. During the genocide run, I'm actually going to manually change the game files so that we see all of the fun values in real time. Because I'm not entirely sure if they are Easter eggs or if they're actually like canon in the story. But if they are canon, they still don't debunk any of my theory and it's important to point out how they don't debunk any of my theories. Can you do more games like that? Oh, sure I could. Although I did beat the, I, I beat the first room game in 40 minutes, the whole thing. All of, all of the achievements, all of the notes, everything in 40 minutes. So it's probably not gonna take that long to get through all of the games. All right, good, we got some hearts here. It's the greater dog. Right, so if we just take the stick, we don't have the item, that's fine. Let's go ahead and beckon the dog. That's the first one. You call the greater dog, it bounces towards you, flicking slobber into your face. That's absolutely fine. Excellent, we dodged its spear. Greater dog is seeking affection. You're damn well gonna get him, my dude. Let's pet him. He curls up in his lap and we pet him. We have our legs absolutely crushed. We're gonna have to spend the rest of the game crawling now, unfortunately. Right, he's gonna do some balks, unfortunately, which are really, really hard to dodge if you don't expect them. Let's go ahead and play. You make a snowball and throw it for the dog to fetch. It splats on the ground and he goes and gets all of the snow because the snow is, it can't, you can't see the snow amongst the snow. Okay, almost took a hit right there. Bork, 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 excellent. Let's go ahead and pet him again because he's pretty tired. I spent 45 minutes on the cube after beating not realizing I'd beaten it because it gave no kind of notification you've been in the first chapter to buy the second one. Escape cube paradox. Yeah, the rusty late games, they are paid, but they are definitely worth the money because there are like, when you beat the game and you think, oh, that was a nice resolution. I, I really like that. There are actually like two more secret endings in every single game that you can get. Pet capacity is 40%. Okay, let's get more pets in. We pet decisively. The dog flops over with its legs hanging in the air. Cute. I do like that it's, oh, you penis! Greater dog is contented. Okay, let's go ahead and spear him then. Done. Okay. We've, we've done the dog. We've done, we've done doggo. Doggo is done. And now it's arse armor. A, a suit of arse armor. There's not gonna be like a save point right at the end of this bridge, is there? Human! This is your final and most dangerous challenge! Behold the gauntlet of deadly terror! When I say the word, it will fully activate! Cannons will fire! Spikes will swing! Blades will slice! Each part will swing violently up and down! Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain! Are you ready? Because I am about to do it! Yeah, I'm good. Well, what's the hold up? Hold up? What hold up? I'm... I'm about to activate it now! That, uh, doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge, it seems maybe too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, we can't just use this one. I am a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair and my traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct. No class at all. Any way it goes. That one was easy. Whew. What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Pepperus! Nyah! Eh! Hey! Okay, bye! Bye, Sans! Okay, we're at the store now. No, we're not. We're not at the store. We're at the uh, city. We finally found the first city. And we've got the first save point, which means we can get the first stick. Excellent. Is there any puzzle games that are free that you would recommend on Steam? more on mobile than Steam. Like, Steam is not a huge place for those kind of like quick puzzle box games. Mobile has a lot of free to play ones, like a huge amount of them. You gotta actually seek them out though. Just search puzzle box literally on the Google Play Store and you'll just find a billion free games. Okay, so I wanna buy something from her, I think. Maybe the manly bandana or the bicycle? Eat it twice? No. It's my own recipe. I love how the bicycle... The bicycle heals 22 HP and it costs 15 gold. Well, this next one heals 22 HP and it costs 10 gold more. I don't get it. 
I just don't get it. We're also not going to buy anything from her. Bye now. Come again sometime. No, I didn't buy anything now. That was the whole point. What's the most nostalgic game to you? My tablet broken. I cannot afford another one. Mine has to be Monument Valley. Sucks about the tablet. My girlfriend breaks a new phone every uh, couple, of, couple of years. I understand it. So... I think we come in here, we try and sleep right, and then everybody's fornicating in the room next to us. So who are we supposed to talk to here? I don't think there's going to be any new dialogue, necessarily, from the blind run that we did. Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell, because you're wearing a striped shirt. Gotcha. All right, Grillbees is right over here. Not entirely sure there's anything new there either. This is a pacifist run. So it could be a little bit different in dialogue, but I don't think we've actually done anything different until here, which I know is Pepperus and Sans' house. It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. This mailbox is labelled Papyrus. Look inside? Yes. It's empty. Ah, oh, well, sucks to be Papyrus. It's locked. Damn! I've got into an igloo. Tunnel system. So, uh, most nostalgic game for me... Probably Battlefield 3. I put a lot of out. No, Morrowind! Morrowind! Game of the Year Morrowind. It's locked from the inside. Okay. I think there was somewhere to go north. I don't necessarily think it was the right way, though. Is there any Christmas games? Hurry to prank my little brother with that. It seems innocent. I'm talking about any game that seems innocent, not my brother. Doki Doki Literature Club. Uh, Cooking Companions? That's its own, like, genre. What is this? Ah, to be young again. The world sure felt boundless. Have we been up here? Hello? Ah, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Ah, my patience rewards me. Ah. Ah, okay, good. That driving video? What driving video? Oh, this wolf is keeping the place real cold. What a dick. I don't know if that's actually a good thing. I'm going north. No, this was the Gaster place. This was supposed to be a room for Gaster, but Gaster was cut content, which is why his theme and uh, that's it, actually. That's all Gaster related is actually in the game files. Mystery man, still don't know whether or not that's supposed to be Gaster or not. Okay, let's come on through. We'll just push on through the town. We'll see what else we've got to go. Because we should be good now. I think, I think we're good. I think we're good. Right, what's next? It's cold. It's really, really cold. We are freezing to death. I've frozen to death. The game is over. All right, that's Papyrus. Human, allow me to tell you sir, about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pastor lover, the admiration for another's puzzle-solving skills, the desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall be lonely no longer. I, the great Papyrus, will be your... No, no, this is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You're a human. I must capture you. Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, do an act on him. Let's flirt with him. What? Flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings. Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. I have zero redeeming qualities. Oh no, that humility, it reminds me of myself. You're meeting all my standards. Let's date later after I capture you. Okay, so we would have had to jump this in a weird kind of flappy bird simulator. It's, it's Papyrus. It's Papyrus. Okay. Papyrus is thinking about what to wear for his date. Thank you so much, by the way, for telling me that. I, I would have continued calling him Papyrus if, if, I, if, if you hadn't let me know that. Let's go ahead and continue to act with a flirt. Oh, no! Let's date later after I kill you! What a guy. Papyrus. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. I, I got it. Papyrus is thinking about what to cook for his date. 
What about a flirt? You flirt, but it's to no avail. Seems acting won't escalate this battle. Let's date later after I capture you. For goodness sake. Yeah, I know, right? I can't believe that I was actually calling him Papyrus that whole time. It's obviously Papyrus. Papyrus dabs some bone cologne behind his ear. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> what is bone cologne? Is that bone broth soup or something like that? Bruh? Yeah, I know, right? It's crazy, isn't it? Alright, uh, so we'll try and mercy him. So you won't fight! Then let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack! Oh, yeah, that is actually a tricky one. I don't know if I can uh, muster the courage to get through this one, guys. Thanks, Pat Pris! No, it's Peppy Sus. Oh, no, I got hit by one! You're blue now! That's my attack! No, 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 no! Oh, yes! Yes! Fidelity! Okay, let's flirt. Pepperus is too busy fighting to flirt back. Let's date later! After I crush you with my fist! Whee! Okay, I'm leaping bones like Mia Khalifa. Pepperus dabs MTT brand Bishy Cream behind his ear. He doesn't have an area, he's a skeleton. Okay, Pepperus. Prepare to meet your mercy! What? I'm not thinking about that date thing! Good. Cause if you were, it would be really distracting. I'm such a, I'm such an attractive miner. <laughs> oh no, Papyrus is like EDP. The, the P in EDP stands for Papyrus. Are you gonna do the whole game today? No, I'm not. I'm gonna play it in like two hour chunks. Papyrus dabs. Okay, good for him. I'm gonna go ahead and mercy him again. Yeah, don't let me use my special attack. Whatever the hell I just said. Okay, let's jump a couple at a time. Oh, nice. Pepris dabs again. Excellent. Can we flirt with him again? Pepris is too busy fighting. Okay. I can almost taste my food. Ah! Don't move. Done. Nice. Ah! He got me with his with his tiny little bone. You've been streaming for two hours? Yeah, but the recording hasn't been going for two hours. You'll know when it goes for two hours because there'll be an outro and then I'll play a different game. <laughs> okay, let's just mercy him again. We'll spare him. Papyrus, head of the royal guard! No, no one wants that, Papyrus. Whoa! No hit! Excellent. Papyrus dabs again. We'll spare him again. Papyrus, unparalleled spaghetti! Oh, poos. I took that one straight to the dome. We don't want to be hit by that one. We don't want to be hit by that one. It's probably going to be a real fast one. Piss! Okay, Papyrus realizes he doesn't have ears. Yeah, well, that was awkward. Uh, let's go ahead and maybe try Mercy once more. Undyne will be really proud of me! Will she really, man? Okay, we took another bone to the face. Oh, poos! I'm getting all flustered. We only have two HP. We should probably actually just use an item if we have one. Uh, not really a lot to use, is there? Bandage. You reapplied the bandage. Still kind of gooey. You recovered 10 HP. Thank you! The king will trim the catch in the shape of my smile. Unlikely. Whoops. This controller is actually not doing us any good, by the way. It, it keeps flicking you side to side. What is your favorite comfort food? Naan bread? Don't know how to spell it. Naan bread's real good. I kind of like, I don't like it roasted or fried. I like it microwave for two minutes, so it's nice and like chewy. I really like microwave naan bread. Pepperus is trying hard to play it cool. Is he now? Okay, we'll spare him again. My brother will, well, he won't change very much. Ah, we're taking everything to the face. Pepperus is cackling. That's weird. I have lots of admirers, but... No! 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 Not Flappy Bird! No! Okay, we're doing fine. Pepperus is rattling his bones. Mercy, spear. Will anyone like me as sincerely as you? No! Nobody will like you as sincerely as me. I am honest. You're too weak! I was easily able to capture you. I will now send you to the capture zone. Or as Sans calls it... Our garage! You're in the doghouse now! <laughs> He's a bit of a dick, isn't he? He's a bit of a dick. My comfort food is chicken nuggets. Easily. Unfortunately, it's just dry food. Oh. It's too small to sleep on. Oh! It's a squeaky chew toy. Oh! 
It's a note from P Pepris. Sorry, I have to lock you in the guest room until Undyne arrives. Feel free to make yourself at home. Refreshments and accommodations have been provided. Nephily yours, Pepperis. Oh. <laughs> I walked out. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and, like, regenerate all of my health. I'm not entirely sure if we have to fight or date him again. Right? Because I know we have to date Pepperis. That is a, a popular meme of the game. Okay. Gotta go all the way to the other end of the city, though, to find that... What is it called? The, uh, the save... The save point. The save star. Right here. Let's go ahead and use this. The sight of such friendly town fills you with determination. Save time! I'm gonna go ahead and use the tough glove so that we have the stick in our inventory. And maybe... We want to actually buy a couple of consumables. Let's buy a couple of these bicycles. Done. I've just bought three of them. Oh well, they're probably gonna serve us well. Could've just gone through the igloo. Yeah, I know I could've just gone through the igloo, but I, when I'd realized, I'd already walked past it. Okay, I'll go through the igloo this time. It's called sunk cost fallacy. <laughs> it's a thing, it's a thing. Okay, so are we gonna face him again? How did you escape? How did you get out of the cage? There he is. Yeah, that's definitely him. I thought for a second we'd be facing Undyne next, but we're not. Oh, where could that human have gone? Wait, it's right in front of me. Hello, I was worried that you'd gotten lost. It sure is a relief to know that you're right here. Wait a second, you're not supposed to escape. Get back there. Okay, Pepperus blocks the way. Date time! Flirt. He's too busy fighting to flirt. Let's date later! Okay, so we've already skipped that portion of this fight, and we are now down to that... What is it called? I want to be the hero, I think? Something like that. Pepperus is thinking about what to wear for his date. Okay, I spear him! What? I'm not thinking about that date thing! I'm gonna start using the arrow key. Yeah, this is a lot easier than using the, uh, stick. Good. Pepperus is thinking about what to cook for his date! Don't cook faster. Yeah, don't use, let me use my special uh, I got a special attack and you don't, uh, child. Pepperus dabs some bone cologne on his ear. I can almost taste my future. That is disgusting, Pepperus. Ah, don't move. Nice. Oh, your penis. Pepperus dabs marinara sauce behind his ear. Ooh. Excellent. Okay, so now we are kind of in a really good spot, right? We just have to dodge these scripted ones. Mercy time! Wee! Wee! Nothing. And dodge! Nice. We dodged his bone this time. Excellent. Mercy! Excellent. And I'm going to go up and over at him and... Wee! And another one. Oh, okay. Jesus, these are coming in hot and heavy. All right, wonderful. Now let's mercy him again. The king will trim a hedge in the shape of my smile. So we're about halfway through this unusually long fight. Excellent. Pepperus dabs again. My brother will not change. Yep, that's true. He will not change. Woo. I'm focusing. I'll have lots of admirers. Nope. You'll have just as many admirers as you have now, which is probably zero. I feel like the mailbox that's full of spam is Sans because he's lazy. Excellent. Let's spare him again. And we'll try and dodge his bones again, like we're actually in a Dunedin club in my hometown. Well, he had the tiniest bone ever just down there. Excellent. Wonderful. You should do Mario Kaizo. I, well, I, I have a girlfriend. I, I shouldn't really be doing, doing anything while I have a girlfriend, especially uh, in what kind of thing I think you're insinuating right now. Excellent. And down we go. Nice. Okay, nice. Pepperus is considering his options. All right, spear again. And dating might be kind of hard. So we're at new place now. Oh, this one's... Ah! He threw his little bone at me right at the end. Pepperus is trying hard to play the cool. After you're captured and sent away. Wee! Wee! Damn it. There was no way we could have missed that last one. Okay. Ugh, who cares? Give up. I don't want to give up, my dude. It's kind of why I'm here. Ah, oh, poos. Okay, I got through that one. Pepperus is preparing a bone attack. That's disgusting. I spirit. Give up or face my special.
special attack. I don't really... Oh, we took that bone too. That one was easy enough. Okay, I'm going to have to use an item. Maybe a bicycle. You eat one half of the bicycle. You recover to live in HP. Wonderful. Very soon I will use my special attack. Good. Good. Damn it. Good. Good. Done it. Nice. I should do a line. Don't worry, guys. This was a joke. Please don't beat me with a middle pipe. Yeah, don't, don't do lines. Don't do lines while you're watching YouTube. People might notice. Mercy again. Spear. Not too long and I will use that special attack. Okay. Oh, I moved through it anyway. Whoa. Okay. He's rattling his bones. This is your last chance before my special attack. He's, he's cycling his attacks now. Oops. Pepperous whispers. Nya, nya, nya. What a guy. Behold my special attack. <laughs> what the heck? That's my special attack. Hey, you stupid dog. Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone. Hey, what are you doing? Come back here with my special attack. Oh, well. I'll just use a really cool regular attack. Pepper Pepperus is getting ready for that regular attack. Good. Okay, let's do a mercy on him. Ah, it's an absolutely normal attack. Oh, yeah, this one is normal. Ah, oh, yes, thank you. I took that one anyway. I chose not to dodge it. Ah! Okay, chose to take that one too. Well, okay. I dodged those ones at their peak hilariously. A doggo! Ah! Cool. Dude. Okay, I don't want to hit any of these. We can't take a single hit again. No! Okay, bye-bye. No! took that one, we would have gotten captured. Well, it's clear you can't defeat me! Yeah, I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the great Papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now's your chance to accept my mercy. Papyrus is sparing you. That's nice of him. Let's do it. What a guy. What a gentleman. No -hoo -hoo. I can't even stop someone as weak as you! Undyne's going to be disappointed in me! I'll never join the Royal Guard and my friend quantity will remain stagnant! What should we say? Uh, what a loser. Well, let's be friends. Really? You want to be friends? With me? Well then, I guess, I guess I can make an allowance for you! Wow, we, we haven't even had our first date! And I've already managed to hit the friend zone! Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? You taught me a lot, human! I have I grant you permission to pass through, and I'll give you directions to the surface! Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern! Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier! That's the magical seal trapping us all underground! Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul. Like you! That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle! The king of all monsters. He is... Well, he's a big fuzzy pushover! Everybody loves that guy! I am certain if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, can I please go home? He'll guide you to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend! Feel free to come by and have that date! Yeah! Was that a jump? Or did he just bicycle kick his way home? What a guy. What microphone do I use? I use a uh, Rode NT USB, but it sounds amazing because I'm I'm really into audio engineering, so it, it, it's all the filters and stuff. Hey, buddy, doing anything? Great. I'm gonna save first before we actually date him in case it does something really irreparably bad to the game. Maybe we want to decide to kill everyone halfway through. The sight of such friendly town fills you with determination. Okay, save. Wonderful. I'm making a list of YouTubers' dad jokes and ranking them. Go, uh, Sips. Go, go, go watch a little bit of Sips. You'll find so many good dad jokes on there. 
People actually pay to get TTS to do it. Can you tell a dad joke? I'm making a list of YouTubers' dad jokes and ranking them. Um. 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 Near one from me. Uh. 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 They usually just come naturally. I can't really think of any at the moment, unfortunately. Oh. What, uh, what did the what did the snowman say to the other snowman? Smells like carrots. But um tis. There you go. Watch literally every single viewer leave. So you came back to have a date with me! You must be really serious about this! I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of the time. Oh thank god. I thought we were gonna go read. I don't know how to read and I'm not interested in learning. Uh, something wrong, bud? Oh, home. My house! <laughs> Introverts be like, This is my brother's pet rock! He always forgets to feed it! As usual, I have to take responsibility! The rock is covered in sprinkles. What's in here? Hi! What, uh, what's in here? Is this your kitchen? That's the trash can! Feel free to visit it any time! Aha! Interested in my food museum? Please peruse my culinary art show! Half of the fridge is filled with containers and labelled uh, spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. Okay. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit my bones under it. Take a look-see. <laughs> what? Catch that meddling canine! Curses! Womp womp. Sans! Stop plaguing my life with incidental music! Okay, what about this? My brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but filled with a sugary non-egg substance. How absurd! Oh, it was a pie. He tried baking a pie. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Ooh. Sans! Please pick up your sock! Okay. Don't put it back down! Move it! Okay. You moved it two inches! Move it to your room! Okay. And don't bring it back! Okay. It's still here! Didn't you just say not to bring it to my room? Forget it! Okay. Television! Oh, it's my favorite game show! It's saying stay tuned for new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this! This is just a bad episode, don't judge me! What a guy. You touch the couch. It makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20 gold. Nice. Hope you don't need that, buddy. I'm taking it. It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Yes, here you go. Here's, here's your dad joke. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another... Qu oh, it's a j I see what they mean by joke book. You decide to stop. Okay, I do have a quantum physics joke for you, though. So, uh, the tachyon says to the barman, and the neutrino particle says, I'll have H2O2. And then the tachyon says, I'll have H2O. And the barman says, what can I get you to? And then the neutrino and the tachyon particle both walk into a bar. Nice! Somewhere there's going to be an astrophysicist cackling with laughter. Uh, I'm going to go into your room. That's my room! If you're finished looking around, we can go in and do whatever people do when they date! Go inside? Absolutely not. Keep your boner to yourself, my dude. Excellent, no, you got that one. <laughs> you're a very smart man. A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. Bones. The door is locked and on fire. Okay, let's go into the room right here. We're going in. We can go in and do whatever people do when they date. I'm a child, my dude. <laughs> I love it. What's this? Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Uh, great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it basically just happened. It was actually today. I'm going to go into your computer. The internet! I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follow account. Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona. It's always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. I know who that is. That is probably Undyne, right? You have to let him show you his room and his bed. You know where this is going? Yeah, I know. It's, we, we're going to the Bone Throne, right? We're going to take a seat on the Bone Throne, even though we are a child. I don't know if I can show this on YouTube, to be quite honest. 
That book's one of my favorites. Advanced puzzle construction for critical minds. That next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with a fluffy bunny. The ending always gets me. Uh, what about the Jolly Roger? Isn't that flag neato? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. Ha ha ha. He's not wrong. But he's not wrong in the sense that eggs are boneless chicken. Ah, yes, action figures. A great reference for theatrical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right, Santa. Why did you describe him that way? There are no skeletons inside my closet, except me sometimes. Look in the closet? Okay, we will. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. Can we take any? No, it's just gonna repeat the dialogue. Gotcha. Let's respect his privacy this time. It's okay to be intimidated by my fashion sense. What a guy. That's my bed! If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead I cruise while I snooze. Why are you so interested in my bed? Are you tired? Oh, well, that's cordial of them. You're gonna have to date more characters? Great. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Sure, I'll date this skeleton. Dating start! Okay, begin. Here we are, on our date. I've actually never done this before, but don't worry. You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. I snagged an official dating rulebook from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one, press the C key on your keyboard for dating HUD. I'm using a controller, my dizzle. Ah, crime. <laughs> Wowee, I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. Step two, ask them on a date. Um, Gilman, I, the great Papris, will go on a date with you. Really? Wowee! I was trying to skip his dialogue. I didn't actually realize we had to uh, talk. I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three, put on nice clothes to show you care. Done. Wait a second. Wear clothing. That ribbon in your hair. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that, earlier today, you're also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You wanted to date me from the very beginning. What, you're, there's an egg on the HUD, by the way. Also, I am the crime. Yes. No! You planned it all. You're way better at dating than I am. But no, your dating power. I'll admit, I've been on a couple of dates in my time. Yeah. <laughs> Don't think you've bested me yet. I, the great Pepperis, have never been beaten at dating, and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold, my penis. Oh, no, never mind. Yeah, what do you think of my secret style? Yeah, I love it. No! A genuine compliment! However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. This is like incel dating simulator. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further unless you find my secret, but that won't happen. Is it this? This shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Expert tip, all clothing articles can be improved in this way. What about the hat? My hat? My hat! My hat! <laughs> well then, you found my secret! I suppose I have no choice. It's a present! A present just for you! Sure, thanks. Do you know what this is? Of course I do, it's pie. Spaghetti! That's what you're thinking, isn't it? No. Right! But oh, so wrong! This ain't any plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work! Silken spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken cask. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papris. Human, it's time to end this. 
There's no way this can go any further. I mean, I'll eat it. You take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me. Maybe even more than I do. Ah. Human! It's clear now! You're madly in love with me! Everything you do, everything you say! It's all been for my sake! Human, I want you to be happy too! It's time for me to express my feelings! It's time that I told you! I, Papyrus! I! Um, boy, is it hot in here or is it just uh, me? Oh, shoot! Human, I... I'm sorry! I don't like you the way that you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great Pepperis, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No! Wait, that's wrong! I can't fail at anything! Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose our friendship. So, please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. Ah ha ha! Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go. Nyeh! <laughs> He just left us in his room. What an oaf. Uh, can we talk to Sans? Is he, does he have anything to tell us? The door is locked. Oh man. If this were a genocide run, I'd open it. Oh, that's probably actually locked because of genocide runs, right? All right, let's uh, go ahead and do a quick savey wavy. Go to the waterfall. I. That's the next objective, isn't it? It's basically, Mandatory? Okay, good. We'll do a save right here. And then we'll go back through the igloo. Oh god, my pepperous voice. It, it, it takes a lot out of you. So we want to go this way now, don't we? Go forward, talk to Sans. All right. Let's go forward and talk to Sans. He's going to give us something nice, right? For dating his incel of a brother. Oh, here we are. We're at the uh, waterfall. Can you believe that? Crazy! Hello! Yo, are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome! She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. Uh -huh. Alright, this thing has no eyes. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing you heard over and over. We need to interact with this thing first next time, don't we? Have you played God? Uh, yeah, I've, I've played God a couple of times in my life, but I'm more humble uh, than my jackass persona would really make it seem. What? You haven't seen a guy with two jobs before? Unfortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to Grillby's. Wanna come? Yeah, sure. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Over here. I know a shortcut. Best shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hiya, Sansy. Hey, Sans. Weren't you just here for a breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, uh, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. Here, get comfy. I've just crapped myself. Oops, watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. I suck bad at Geometry Dash. No, I, I've never played Geometry Dash. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? I want a burger. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Real big, we'll have a double order of burg. Okay. So, 
What do you think of my brother? And Cole. Hey, pal. Sarcasm isn't funny, okay? My brother's a real star. He's the person who pushed me to get the sentry job. Maybe it's a little strange, but sometimes... It's nice to have someone call you out on being lazy, even though nothing could be further from the truth. Well, that was a weird law dump. Thanks for that. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Yes. Bon appetit. You tip the ketchup. The cap falls off and all the ketchup in the bottle pours onto your food. Whoops. Eh, forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyway. There's no stomach. He's got no stomach. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree Pepperus tries real hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. <laughs> but the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's, uh, still a work in progress. Okay. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Go, go hard. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Yeah, of course I have. So you know all about it. The echo flower. They're all over the marsh. They say something to them, so they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Pepper has told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. I think he's talking about flower. He's got to be right. I should play Geometry Dash. It's only four bucks. Is it worth playing on a really, really beefy computer? Because I am also playing Once Human these days in my spare time. And I'm also playing really graphically intense games in my spare time. So probably won't give it a go. Probably, probably not. Yes, it, it's actually... Okay, I'll check it out after I uh, play this game here. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just... a hundred thousand gold. No. Just kidding. Real babe, put it on my tab. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Okay, thanks. Can I eat this burger? Can I at least take it with me? Please? Okay. Mm, Grilp said that your food is probably cold by now. <laughs> How'd he say it though? Oh, we went all the way back. Why? Why'd we do that? Okay, let's go back to the waterfall. It's really good, especially if you like music. It does not require a big graphics card. No, you can't. Now you can just go forward. Okay, I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll go forward. Wow, look at this. It's so icy. It does require 200 megabytes. I'm not entirely sure if it's worth playing on my computer, if that's the case. I've got a very expensive computer for the graphics. Until the point where you defeat Undyne. Well, uh, this is actually going to really bother you guys, but I'm, I'm going to save right here. I'm going to save at the waterfall, and then I'm going to thank you so much for watching. Right up here, you're going to find the playlist for Undertale that I have made, and right up here, you're going to find another playlist that I think you'd really enjoy. Down in the description of this video, you're going to find a link to my Discord, where you can chat to me and my community personally. And until I make the next video, or you catch the next stream, thank you so much for watching again. I will see you later. Goodbye!